Uh, we, this is Batgirl 36. And I have not been able to finish this comic. I have been on for two weeks now, trying to get to the end. But I am convinced that it does not have an end. And it's like a never-ending comic. Because in two weeks, uh, I'm being serious as well, I'm not exaggerating. In two weeks, I've been trying to get through this and I am only like halfway in. Uh, well, actually, just before halfway because that's the centre. This comic is insufferable. It is one of the most annoying things I have ever read. What happened was, I ordered Batgirl 36 from eBay. Except it was a rubbish eBay seller who sent the wrong Batgirl 36. I wanted Batgirl 36, the final issue by Marge Stotty, the comic that was listed. And they sent the new 52 Batgirl 36 by Cameron Fletcher. This is the stupid hipster Batgirl. Uh, even this cover pisses us off. This is an awful cover. We got this red background and it's just fucking hideous. Uh, the layout is terrible. We've got all this space here. It's just blank. It's red. Batgirl, she's at a stupid angle. Uh, and the Villians, they're riding motor bicycles. And the only entertaining thing about this entire comic is that shortly after this, these two idiots are clearly gonna crash into each other this comic it's all hipster style it's all twee it's all indie comics for sjw girls on tumblr uh, canary they put her at the start to try and make me go easy on the book uh, and i will say the art the art could work for a book like this art it would be top tier art for squirrel woman uh, and then she meets a fella, and oh god, isn't isn't he dreamy? And her college roommate is Muslim, obviously, and she is a genius. She's even smarter than Batgirl. She is perfect. She is wise. She has got the answer for everything. Uh, no mention whatsoever of the conflict between Islam and the West, but just ignore that. She has now to deal with it. She's too busy being brilliant to weigh in on loaded topics like that. And now she's got a friend who, of course, is also Muslim because they apparently are all best friends. Uh, and this one, this one is brilliant as well. He is like the smartest person on campus other than the other Muslim. And also Batgirl, who is the star and is also a super genius. In fact, on her way out of this lab, she spots some equations on a whiteboard. And immediately she corrects them. And then all these many, they cannot believe they got it wrong. And that she got it right straight away. Uh, that was the second time I put the comic down, by the way. Uh, the baddies, the baddies are laughable. Batman, he fights the Jokers, the Fantastic Force, they fight Mr. Doom, Captain America, he has got the Red Skull Man, and Batgirl, she fights two random lasses on mopeds with knee superpowers. And <laughs> she gets beat by them. They have got no powers, they have got swords and motor bicycles, and she's pretty much hopeless against them. Uh, she doesn't get defeated. No, you can't say that. That would be wrong. You can't say that she was defeated. Because she is too strong a female character to ever be beaten. So instead, let's just say she was inconvenienced by them. Uh, you can only really say that she lost this fight against two random nobodies if you are a sexist incel. My interest was very briefly piqued down here. When we discover the idiots on the motor bicycles, they are called the Jawbreakers. Clear to see where diversity in a comic nicked his idea from, innit? He steals all the great ideas from these brilliant progressive SJW comics that are the bestest. Oh god, then she goes to a fucking nerd shop, 
that sells fuck all pops, the kind of place that only fat girls with purple hair can to. And there's some shit about, oh, you are a fake geek girl. No, I'm not. You are sexist. I am smarter than you. Uh, and to prove this, we have some garbage fucking brown nosing about random Japanimation. Uh, then she needs the other boy's help. Uh, you know, the boy who got his fucking equation wrong and she corrected. Well, she needs his help. And this is as far as I've got. I, I, I can't read this. It, it, it's, it's terrible. Uh, it looks like she fights these stupid women on motor bicycles again. Uh, they're probably lesbian lovers. Uh, it looks like, again, she is useless against Summit on wheels. Uh, then, oh god, it, it goes all stylized. This looks, this just looks awfully inappropriate for a story about what is a realistic street crime. A street crime that Batgirl in, is completely incompetent against. It's no fucking wonder she just stood there when Joker shot her. She is completely unprepared to deal with any crime. Uh, maybe one day in the future I can finish this and offer a proper review which will likely end with it being torn up. Uh, I did spot at the end though, there's, there's a little bit of promo for another comic for a Justice League book by Jim Tomatas and Kevin Griffin. And this interested me, we've got Blue Beetles, Booster Gold, Gwen Stefani, Polaris, The Flask, I think that's a Wally West version. Different now who that is, different now who that is. I think that might be the Spectre, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. This, this could be interesting. Uh, also, at the end of the Batgirl story, they introduce another supporting character, who is an African-American girl. And I've not gotten this far, obviously, but I bet she can be described as sassy. Uh, I rate... I, am I allowed to rate somewhere that I have not finished? Uh, either way, I rate it seven thumbs up. I will try and finish it, but it's going to probably take a few months. Uh, it took two weeks to get, like, halfway in. It is terrible. Uh, there's a lot of words. One positive I will give. They did not shortchange you on the words. 